Hey guys, it's Shinigan from the Pendit, and today I'm in Nelson Labs and I'll be going over a great starter pen, the Pilot Metropolitan. It's a metal pen that retails for about $12 to $15, and you can't get a better bargain than that. It's made by Pilot, obviously, it's called a Pilot Metropolitan, and comes in a lot of colors and finishes. This one is the Greyhound, but they come in like tiger finishes, in snake finishes, as well as in standard battle colors which are gold silver and black this is i think in the animal collection of the metropolitan and it's pretty good i really like the animal collection it's a cartridge converter pen the old ones tend to come with the aromatic converter the con 20 whereas the new ones come with the piston filling con 40 which is completely transparent they have standard nibs when i say standard i don't mean standard standard but pilot proprietary standard nibs but and they only come in mediums and fines but because they're pilot proprietary standards you can switch them out for the extra fines as well as the stubs the whole pen is made out of brass but the section is made out of plastic now because this pen can be posted and it's a decent length posted it kind of backweights the pen because the whole pen behind your behind the fulcrum is made out of metal and the uh, part that you're holding is made out of plastic which is pretty light and you can't exactly unpost this pen and use it it's okay it's not great it's not bad either but i would just prefer that length of pen with a slightly you know less heavy cap or if they could have made the section metal as well that'd be great okay i'm going to go from top to bottom explain each aspect of the pen to you tell you what i like about it what i don't like about it and then i'm going to do a writing sample cool Okay, so now the finial of the pen, well, there's no finial exactly. It's just a cap that tapers towards kind of rounded off finial. The finial kind of extends towards the cap and the whole pen slightly bows in the middle and then tapers back down. About like five millimeters below the top of the pen, there is the clip. Now the clip is kind of hard to open, but it does do its function it stops the pen from rolling over and you can put it over a few pieces of paper or maybe even a thin shirt right below that you don't see a step down but you kind of feel it into the barrel of the pen now all the barrels of the pen have maybe one centimeter section that's either has a design on it or a texture on it this one is the greyhound design uh, you can get them in many designs this there you can even get them in no design but that's the only glossy part of the pen everything else is more or less matte right after that there's like maybe two millimeters or three millimeters of a straight section and then that tapers down to a similar finial as the one on the cap now this pen snaps open and it can be posted pretty securely but i don't like it being posted for reasons you already know the the shiny part or the glossy part of the barrel transitions to a very significant step down which helps the cap post on the pen sorry which helps the pen the cap cap on the pen um, and that whole part is metal now is when you start off with the plastic part of the pen or the section the shape of the section is brilliant i love the shape of section but it's kind of thin for me i'd have liked it if it was slightly thicker but it's okay for the design of the pen it looks pretty pretty good right above that there's the pilot proprietary nib now these nibs are standard for all pilot pens and they can be swapped out for the pilot plumix the penmanship uh the prera and i feel i think a few others i just can't name them right now oh the e95s no no sorry not the e95s the 78g the 78g nibs can swap on these and the nib is pretty smooth it does have some scroll work on it if you want to call it that it's just a design of like a wing shape on it it's pretty okay it's not bad but i do like the more simpler designs compared to this that have nothing on it but that's a personal preference i also tend to use a gold nib on this but this is the original nib and i'll show you how that functions right now okay guys this is the writing sample for the pilot metropolitan with a medium nib the ink i'm using today is Pilot Aero Shizuku 
con pecky this is what con pecky looks like and here it is against noodler's blue wheel as well as lamy turquoise now this is i thought when i bought it i thought it was like a deep blue um somewhat like hold up somewhat like maybe lamy blue but it tended to be more of a turquoise which is okay it's not bad uh noodler's blue wheel is much darker and lamy turquoise is obviously lighter its official name its official translation from con pecky to english means cerulean sky and that actually does make sense it's a pretty nice sky color okay let's move on to the writing sample okay no skips nothing too major it's it's slightly wetter than remembered but that's maybe because of the standard nib on it i didn't change this the original nib when i changed the nib it did get slightly drier but that might just be because of the nib and feed uncoupling but we, we we'll see we'll see how it keeps going let's start with some flex now it's a pretty thin nib because it's a japanese medium it tends towards the western fines which isn't bad which is actually a kind of width i really like let's do some more flex now because this is steel nib it doesn't flex as much but it does give you some slight line variation just not quite as much as you would get with obviously a gold nib pen let's try with some wetness on the side stroke it's okay slightly wetter than normal pens but on the up and down stroke it's actually pretty wet like it's it's still much dark. I, I laid down a much thicker line let's see how this thing keeps up with the signature i have high hopes but keeping my fingers crossed okay this nib is not bad i kind of dug it in paper here but that might be because of me everywhere else it it kept up perfectly fine i don't want to put the stub nib on this for signatures just because the pilot stubs are kind of scratchy at least for my taste i'm going to stick the music nib for signatures as much as i can okay, that's it for <laughs> the writing sample i'll see you guys in about half a second okay thanks guys that's it for me for the pilot metropolitan i'll see you guys next time but until then stay safe